Well, yeah, I remember a time back in 07 when these three bodhisattvas rolled into Joshua Tree. Well, it seemed to me that they wholeheartedly embraced the uncertainty and the ambiguity of non-conceptuality. And to that extent, well, I think they learned to relax with groundlessness. Now, I'm not saying these boys were free of warring emotions and the <coughs> belief in separateness and individualism. Believe me, I saw fear in their eyes, and many a times they did an Elvis-like dance, shaking their legs and cussing. But what I mean is they maintained a fairly open mind stepping out further and further on the rock, embracing nothing. Occasionally, they'd yell out, Take! Take! Gate! Gate! Paragate! Parasamgate! Bodhisvaha! Which one of them said it means a lot of groundlessness is a good thing, because it helps you wake up, or something like that. I'm standing here by the side of the highway. You can see the city lights stretched out before me. I'm coming home, my own true love. Want to hear the voice that I've been dreaming of? By the old mountain line, can hear the whisper as I close my eyes. I'm coming home, my own true love. I wanna see the smile that I've been dreaming. 